Hello guys, hope you are doing great. So today's video is to entry level or internship kind of opportunities from the core companies of electronics. There is Texas Instrument which is very, very core company uh, of uh, electronics. And also there is uh, an internship opportunity from Microsoft. We are going to see these two opportunities in this video. If you are looking for job opportunities, if you are specifically looking for electronics based job opportunities, uh, or IT jobs, then this is a perfect place to subscribe. So please subscribe to the channel if you are watching the videos for the first time. Please give your suggestions in the comment section what all things you want to see. I'll try to make videos based on that. So based on an in, based on a comment only, I have come up with this video. I got a comment that we want internships uh, from core companies of electronics. So getting an internship in a core company is like very very difficult. At least if you find an entry level opportunity, that is a great thing. Because initially you have to work with these uh, project centers or, uh, you know, small startups of electronics. You have to gain some experience only then you can land in big MNC or a big unicorn electronics company. So that's one truth you should understand. Uh, anyway, there is always a ray of hope or there is always a solution for everything. So let's try to uh, find a solution together. Let's see the internship uh, or entry level opportunities from the core companies. First, we are going to see the Microsoft internship opportunity. So this is for multiple locations, not just for one location. There is a software engineering internship opportunity from multiple of uh, that is for multiple locations of Microsoft. Uh, we can see the the role type. It is individual contributor. Employment type is internship. Let's see the overview uh, here. So they have given that come build, explore your passions, do your best work at Microsoft with thousands of university interns from every corner of the world. The opportunity, uh, this opportunity will allow you to bring your aspirations, talent, potential and excitement for the journey ahead. So these things they have given here. So basically it's like an internship opportunity. Let's see the responsibilities here. It applies to engineering principle to solve complex problems through sound creative engineering. Quickly learn new engineering methods and incorporate them into work process. Seek uh, feedback and apply internal and industry best practices to improve technical solutions. Demonstrate skill in time management and completing software uh, projects in cooperative team environment. That is basically you have to work in a team, you have to build solutions, you have to uh, you know work together as a team, find solutions for problems, improve the the things, uh, work process, everything. That is the case. Okay. Let us see what is the qualifications needed. So you should be pursuing a bachelor's degree or a master degree in the engineering field. That is, you should be in your college, should be pursuing. Okay. So you can be an engineering student. You can be a electronic student. You can be computer science student. You can be electrical student. That is the thing. Must have at least one additional quarter or semester of school remaining for the completion of internship. That is. That is basically they are exp ex uh, expecting you to be uh, in college. They are not expecting you to be working in some companies. They are not expecting you to be an experienced professional. They are expecting you to be in your college itself. One year of programming experience in an object oriented language. So this can be a, a college based uh, experience. That is you have learned a programming language. If you have uh, done something like a mini project or if you have uh, learned your object oriented program. I know that um, for electronics uh, syllabus, we learn the uh, object oriented programming like C++ in the third semester itself. So there is always a, you know, experience or knowledge with the programming, object oriented programming language. So that's always there. That is uh, the requirement. Okay. So you don't need to be in, uh, you don't need to be a working professional. You can 100% be a student. You should be, that is actually the requirement is you should have one more semester left out. To complete they are not expecting you to be in a uh what do you say in a company working already should be a student so this is a student phase opportunity so it's like very much uh applicable for students so that's one thing uh if you are interested in this definitely apply for this next let's move to the next opportunity that is texas instruments based image signal processing engineer uh is a uh, the title of the job texas instruments is a company it's a very very core company of electronics uh, they manufacture processors, they manufacture network interface cards, they manufacture boards, FPGA boards, everything they manufacture, everything and anything related to electronics they manufacture. They have the, a lot of, uh, like, sorry, a lot of consumer electronics uh, based products. They have 
So a lot of products they manufacture uh, in different fields. If you want to know about the selection process of the Texas Instruments, we can uh, actually make a video for that. Uh, but you need to support the video by sharing it with your friends. So yeah. So say Texas Instruments, they have the uh, they have a lot of openings for electronic space posts. Only thing is that entry level opportunities finding them is difficult. Now this is like an entry level opportunity. Image signal processing engineer. Uh, image signal processing okay so there is digital signal processing and digital image processing this is an image processing like uh, you capture images you uh, process them with the help of certain tools like matlab or other tools yeah for this team uh, role team is looking for passionate creative motivated embedded system software development engineer so this is an embedded system based um, uh, exp like opportunity actually in signal processing computer vision domains a suitable candidate uh, would be the one with experience and outstanding knowledge in development of embedded software development, embedded system engineering, computer architecture, and ISP and CV algorithms. So there is a set, certain set of requirements is there. If you have that requirements, if you have the knowledge, then you can definitely uh, apply for this. Yeah, again, the requirement in programming is C, C++. You should be having knowledge of Python. Again, a very, very big thing. Python is a big thing now uh all the core companies are asking for python so we are going to start this course on python in our channel soon so please stick to the channel uh if you are interested in learning python this is definitely going to be useful for your uh, core companies especially uh, and also for it companies so job responsibilities they have mentioned is developed embedded software for ti computer vision imaging analytics soc Develop and deploy drivers for peripherals, application demos, examples, develop training, collaterals, and software documentation. So that is the uh, requirement. Yeah, there is a job responsibility. Requirements is master degree in computer science, electric uh, computer science or electrical electronics engineering. One plus relevant experience if you are having that is like something they are preferring. Um, bachelor's degree uh, in computer science, electrical electronics, one to two years. So bachelor degree and master degree both are eligible if you have an internship experience if you have a apprentice experience anything if you have any experience of one year you can apply whether you are in master degree or in uh, bachelor degree both are eligible with minimum one year of experience okay preferred qualification again they have mentioned knowledge of ispc v multimedia system embedded system engineering uh, again it's a big thing Strong programming skill and in-depth knowledge of C, C++, Python, experience working with camera systems, knowledge of safety, good analytical skills, problem solving skill, good communication skill, ability to work in global teams, diverse skill set. These are the requirements. If you have this, you can apply. You need to have just one year of experience to apply here. It's like a very, very uh, entry level or a fresher kind of opportunity itself. It's not a experience kind of opportunity. So please apply here if you are having one year internship or one year experience or one year apprentice experience or anything any experience if you have so that's all for today's video really hoping you found the content useful if yes please uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching keep on watching